Hello my dear students, myself Minu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the evolution of the efficiency of the sterilizing methods or sterilizing agents. Okay, here what is the evolution, why is it so that the, why uh, it is a necessity to evaluate the efficiency of a sterilizing agent? Because it helps to determine which kind of the sterilizing agent we have to choose or not. So for that we are deciding some values up to those values uh, up to determine those values we will discuss or we will uh, choose that appropriate sterilizing agent or sterilization method. So in this method <laughs> in this evolution parameters some D values, F values, Z values, Q10 values and inactivation factors we will decide or we will determine and after that overall possibilities of a proper sterilizing agent we will decide. Okay, so first before starting the D value we will discuss about the survival curve or the death rate. Why, uh, uh, what is the survival curve or survival curve? The, uh, if suppose that if a homogeneous suspension of microorganism is heated at a constant temperature, the microorganism destruction commonly follows the logarithm order because Hello, if we are this introducing and the heat treatment about the, the number of microorganisms of, of the per unit volume or decreases agents. Okay. as Here, exponentially. What is the this evolution? graph is, it so is that known the, as uh, the exponential graph to or evaluate it is the known efficiency as of the survival agent. curve. Because why it is it help so? It remains as the survival of the sterilizing agent. Here we you can determine that or it, not. Just that this so time, for uh, that, up to this time, decide number of microorganisms are those values, uh, and up to this uh, time, to determine the number of microorganisms we will discuss remain or we will uh, choose this value. So with the help of this curve, agent, we can determine on any point so of time in this matter, that this much microorganism <laughs> in this evolution parameters. Survived so, D values, or remain, F values, uh, Z Bible values, Q10 okay. values, so and here, inactivation factors. The we survival will decide, curve, or we will determine. We have and after and that, use the survival curve possibilities to of determine the D value. agent. We will but decide. Now okay. we will discuss so about first, the first value that is the D value. D value we will that D value is about named the as the survival curve reduction time the death rate. and the decimal Why? reduction uh, dose. Uh, okay, what is here, the survival the curve? Main thing or is that survival curve? Because I have seen so many videos, but they are not at all clear. Is D value at the constant time temperature or we can the microorganism reduce the microbes commonly up to the 90 the logarithm order. Okay. So it's a because very simple if that we are introducing required the heat treatment reduction the number of tenfold reduction. What is the tenfold reduction volume? I will decrease uh, it. We will discuss. Don't worry about that. Exponentially. The this graph that is known as the which exponential graph to reduce it is the known as the survival curve. From 90, uh, Why is it so? It is in uh, ninety percent as the survival curve reduced. That Okay, yes, so and you can determine that ten fold reduction. This okay. time, uh, so up to this time, that the number of microorganisms is here. The and up time. to this time, okay. the number it's of microorganisms remain survive ninety percent population. So of with the micro. help of this okay. curve, so the we unit of time, unit of any point of time, is that time this much microbial load is whatever survives. All the time, it's a uh, minute or second, whatever. Okay. So, so here, so same value the survival the curve is having. We have uh, okay. and just so use the survival curve here to determine the first D value. ninety percent reduction but is now as the we will discuss cycle. about the first okay. value that here, is the D value. One D. The D value one is D named as the decimal time, reduction time, time of the and the decimal reduction dose originally okay. present in here, a microbial the colony. The main thing is it that means because that I have seen so many videos, if the ten percent present clearly ten percent survives the D value, ten percent present value is so the reduction is the ninety percent. It's a time now reduce from the survival curve up to the ninety percent. We okay. will so it is very simple that D value that part. it's a time Here, required the for exponential graph reduction convert into this graph reduction. what with is the, the help of the log value I will uh, because all the values we will convert that. into the but log value the, and we know that time if you have studied about the log to and reduce anti log terminologies the you can very well learn about the nine, log uh, micro table or the log values are in reduced. The 10 okay. digits and like we can one, say it's a 10, 10 fold reduction 100 okay. thousand so like we so. can say that the so d value with the help of log values the and the time, time graph we have okay. taken it's a time in the x-axis to we kill 
ड्रॉइंग पॉपुलेशन नाउ एनी माइक्रो बिल कोर लेट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस यूनिट ऑफ डी व्हाट वी आर सेइंग इन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दैट से मिनट द रिडक्शन ऑफ 90% ऑफ टाइम फॉर रिडक्शन और टेन फॉर रिडक्शन मींस सो सेम हाउस वैल्यूज ऑफ द डी इज 100 द रिडक्शन फॉर इज 10 फोल्ड okay for from that time from the thousand reduction the is known as time the one log cycle even okay and here from 10 th- from 1000 to 100 of time is the time to only 10% of and this difference is known as a divisionally present in a reduction is the tan fold okay the and here and if the tan fold is present, present Then what is the time of the reduction or 10 here in present if you uh, so the reduction what is the calculate the what is the where the 90% Now, from the surviving curve that from this curve the total value suppose that we are using the d value values so here for that that the exponential graph will uh, convert microbes into this present. graph with But the help of the log value nine because all the values kill. will convert into the log One value and kill and we because know if the remain studied about the log and anti log so terminology is some thousand very well and about hundred the log only lived table then or the, the log values kill. are in the so ten it will convert like into one the ten percentage form thousand like so and So, so with the help of one, log two, values one, two, three, and the time and the reduction value is the ninety percent. In the x-axis, so draw it is the reduction graph. is the ninety percent reduction. Now we will learn the definition also. from this graph. And that one day value is saying in the definition <coughs> that in the one reduction one of in the ninety percent when we got the ninety percent reduction, the ten fold reduction is the one log cycle. Thousand. Okay. Two. I think. 100. I hope you have cleared the this part. Reduction four and the d yes, value is fold. the time. Okay. Okay. From If the hundred th- is the t thousand and the thousand yeah. here time is on the x axis is the t one and the between the t one thousand to hundred and the time is the t value is the d value. And this difference is how we find the d value. Want to calculate the reduction to the and the formula base. Okay. The formula is the d equals to t log reduction and not minus. What is the ninety percent reduction and not here the microorganism at the initial time. If you want to calculate the microorganism there the ninety percent t time reduction comes from the t time. The so total value. The suppose that we are just using that is the time values. unit or suppose minute. That, that you can say. Thousand. Okay. Uh, suppose that microbes present. Do have just the one question in your mind. Hundred. If the d value kill. is increased or decreased, one nine hundred kill. How the solution efficiency of the remaining microbes? Suppose that the d value so is less. If from for thousand. A, To fertilizer is only and, live, and for the best, the nine hundred kill. The so value is high. It convert it into the time is less form. Okay, and so for the time is so less. It is so one two three one two three and and the reduction the value the is ninety five at the B value. So so it is the reduction is the ninety percent reduction and the time old reduction is also very much and efficient. And that one B value in a less time <coughs> if in the uh, one less time one in, in the one cycle and the when we got the ninety percent reduction, so this value okay. is known as so the one log cycle. So here, if the D value decreases, okay. the I think I hope you have cleared this point. Increases and the D value is the time. Okay, if the hundred Time is three two, and the thousand okay. here okay. in the last the time, x-axis the, the t one and the between the t one in the very high two 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 efficient the value is the value. Well. Okay, so it's how the efficiency I want to calculate according to the uh, that formula base. What are the, the formula is the d value t the log the time of minus n t. And not do the microorganism at the initial time, which we are taking the as the sterilizing agent t time, and the surface on the microorganism. So d, exposed. what is the unit of the okay. d? That, that is also the time unit or minute you can say. The d okay. values. And what so is the importance of the d value? The importance of the d value is that 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 the d With the for help of D value, sterilizing agent, I and for the B sterilizing agent, that which the D the value is high. We have to use. It okay. means to select the time the is less. Help to select okay. the so for the time is less than the sterilizing so agent. So A value, okay, and so D is uh, time is high and the B value, which we decide so with the help of D value. It means now we will discuss the sterilizing agent, that value, F value, Q is value, and the and activation factors. Now we will discuss about the next parameter that is the Z value. Z value is also termed as the thermal resistance constant, or we can say thermal destruction value. Okay, so what is the Z value? The Z value it is the number of degree of the temperature change, temperature change required to produce ten fold change in the D value. It means that what temperature we can adjust or we can increase so the D value. 
can change by 1 by 10 okay so d value can change 1 by 10 okay so what is the dz and what is the unit of z value it is the temperature unit either degree celsius or the degree fahrenheit okay so by decreasing uh, sorry by increasing the temperature we can change the d okay and by the d changing we can change the z also okay so z is inversely proportional to d suppose that for uh, for any sterilizing agent the value of d and uh, the value of z is high so the automatically d value is less and the d if the d value is less then that sterilizing agent is good one okay so here <laughs> what is the tenfold one by tenfold it means the log d value one two three four like this we will uh, just write the d values in the log term in the y axis and here the value is 90 110 110 it's a degree celsius value as we know that the log 10 value is the one log 100 value is a two log 1000 value is a three three okay so here what we have decided that the number of degree of temperature change to require tenfold change in the d value so here the tenfold change here tenfold means the one unit change one log cycle change okay 3 to 2 okay uh, 3 to 2 change so here the value if here it is the 120 to 130 degree okay so the 10 degree celsius is the z value according to this graph okay so here by increasing the temperature if we are increasing the temperature we observe that the d value is automatically reduced okay so here the if the d value is reduced the z value automatically increased okay so here the formula is z is equals to t2 minus t1 upon log d1 minus log d2 t2 at the second temperature t1 and uh, the t1 is the initial temperature t2 is the final temperature and d1 is the initial value and d2 is the final value okay so here if the z value is high so d value is less so the uh, micro and that that sterilizing agent is good for us okay next is of f value <laughs> f value is also termed as the thermal death time okay Th in the thermal death time it is the number of minutes to accomplish a given reduction in the microbial population of a specific temperature generally that f value show the unit of lethality okay and in the food industry that unit of lethality is termed as the f value so it is the main important for the canned food or the self stable food because generally in the food industries the f value is determined for the food packing before the food packing okay so here the it is the defined as the equivalent in minute okay equivalent in minute means in the time or the minute of 121 degrees Celsius means the temperature at 121 degrees Celsius at what time to destroy the spores and vegetative cells of a particular organism so here in the food industries the generally reference temperature is 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degree Fahrenheit okay why is it so because at this temperature clostridium botulinium spores can kill okay so th at this value the d value is 12d okay so here the f value is generally expressed in the term of the d multiple of d is the like 2d 12d 13d 15d like so but as the reference of f value is that it is the number of minute to reduce the microbe completely either the vegetative cells or the spore cells and the reference temperature is 121 degree celsius or 250 degree fahrenheit the formula is that f equals to d n naught log n naught up minus log n d here the d value is determined at 121 degree celsius and log n naught is initial microbes at initial phase and log n is the microbes and uh, after the t time or the uh, after the uh, temperature treatment of 121 degree celsius 
so what is the unit of f it's a unit of minute as as uh, because it's a we are expressing the f value in the term of d and the unit of d is the minute and same as the f value is also termed as the uh, has a unit of minute now the second next last one second last is the q10 value or the temperature coefficient here the q10 represent the temperature it is the increase in the reaction or killing rate by increasing in the temperature by 10 degree celsius it means suppose that we are increasing the temperature by 10 degree celsius that how much percentage of an sterilizing agent or how much uh, efficiency of sterilizing agent are increased or enhanced okay so here the q10 is represented by kt plus 10 upon kt okay here the kt at the specific time t and plus 10 because we are increasing the time uh, by uh, we are increasing the temperature by 10 degrees celsius okay so I describe the change in the death rate over a 10 degrees celsius change in the temperature okay because the after the 10 degrees celsius after the increment of 10 degrees celsius the microbial exposure uh, the microbes can kill at how much extent now we will discuss about the last that is the inactivation factor and after that we will complete our this efficiency evolution of efficiency topic now come to the inactivation factor an activation factor it is the degree to which the viable population of organisms is reduced by dividing the initial viable count by the final viable count means at a particular sterilizing agent at or at a particular time that how much viable count is present okay means if suppose that in the uh, uh, t1 time the viable count is the n1 and in the t2 time the viable count is n2 okay so here the ratio of the final viable count and the initial viable count is the inactivation factor okay means at particular exposure of the slicing agent the viability how much viability is present in the given suspension okay here it can express in the term of d value means up to the this time interval or up to the this time exposure how much viable form is present okay so here the d value for microorganism aapka inactivation factor is that 10 dash to the power t by d the t is the holding time for sterilizing temperature and d is the value of microorganism at a particular temperature so inactivation factor is that it's a ratio between the vi viable form after the exposure and the viable form before the exposure okay so here we have completed the evolution of efficiency i hope you have enjoyed the lecture lecture if you have any doubt kindly ask me in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you